guys, this is Lazy Programmer, and I'm back again to tell you about my latest class, Unsupervised Machine Learning, Hidden Markov Models in Python. Hidden Markov Models are all about learning sequences. A lot of the data that would be very useful for us to model is in sequences. Stock prices are sequences of prices. Language is a sequence of words. Credit scoring involves sequences of borrowing and repaying money and we can use those sequences to predict whether or not you're going to default. In short, sequences are everywhere. The easiest way to appreciate the kind of information you get from a sequence is to consider what you are listening to right now. If I had said the previous sentence backwards, it wouldn't make much sense to you, even though it contained all the same words. So order is important, while the current fad in deep learning is to use recurrent neural networks to model sequences, I want to first introduce you guys to a machine learning algorithm that has been around for several decades now, the hidden Markov model. This course follows directly from my first course on unsupervised machine learning for cluster analysis, where you learn how to measure the probability distribution of a random variable. In this course, you'll learn how to measure the probability distribution of a sequence of random variables. You guys know how much I love deep learning, so there is a little twist in this course. We've already covered gradient descent, and you know how central it is for solving deep learning problems. I claim that gradient descent could be used to optimize any objective function. In this course, I will show you how to use gradient descent to solve for the optimal parameters of an HMM as an alternative to the popular expectation maximization algorithm. We are going to do it in Theano, which is a popular library for deep learning. This is also going to teach you how to work with sequences in Theano, which will be very useful when we cover recurrent neural networks and LSTMs. This course is also going to go through the many practical applications of Markov models and hidden Markov models. We're going to look at a model of sickness and health, calculate how to predict how long you'll stay sick if you get sick. We're going to talk about how Markov models can be used to analyze how people interact with your website and fix problem areas like high bounce rate, which could be affecting your SEO. We'll build language models that can be used to identify a writer and even generate text. Imagine a machine doing your writing for you. We'll look at what is possibly the most recent and prolific application of Markov models, Google's PageRank algorithm. And finally, we'll discuss even more practical applications of Markov models, including generating images, smartphone auto suggestions, and using HMMs to answer one of the most fundamental questions in biology. How is DNA, the code of life, translated into physical or behavioral attributes of an organism? A lot of exciting stuff ahead. I'll see you in class. Mm -hmm.